New data shows consumers turn to dairy in difficult times. Despite pandemic hurdles, U.S. per capita dairy consumption increased for the third consecutive year in 2020. Alan Birka with the National Milk Producers Federation joins us now for a closer look. Alan, so good to have you with us. What consumption trends drove this increase? What you saw were just across the board incremental gains in different categories, which is really striking when you look at what a challenging year 2020 was to see the sort of stability and rising consumer demand for dairy. It was a little more butter, uh, get back to the 1960s levels of consumptions, a little more yogurt, uh, reversing some declines we had seen in some recent years, getting that back n number up a little bit. And then, of course, ice cream. You know, what's a pandemic without ice cream? Uh, you see a rebound in, in those numbers as well. And, and those factors together just pushed everything up a little bit for another good year for dairy. It's the highest per capita U.S. consumption since 1960. Yeah, I can personally account for a lot of those trends in my own kitchen during the pandemic. So what about fluid milk? We've long heard about people drinking less milk. Was that the case in 2020? That has been the case as far as a long-term trend has gone. And often when you hear people talk about, you know, the death of dairy, which is a, a big piece of misinformation and false narrative that you see in a lot of a lot of discussion of dairy from some of its opponents, you'll often see them looking at the number of fluid milk. Um, now, fluid milk actually stayed very stable in 2020. Once again, an amazing thing when you think about how many school lunches were canceled that year, when you think of all the shortages you saw as fluid milk flew off of retail shelves. In the end, consumer consumption of fluid milk was, was pretty stable. Um, and once again, this was a sign that people turned to things during a time of need. We're hoping that this is a trend that can be built upon. So where could these trends go moving forward, do you think? Well, you see uh, dairy continually seeing uses go toward uh, uses other than fluid milk. Uh, nobody expects that really to change. Um, cheese was, you know, consumption was play, also staying pretty stable in 2020. Butter continues to be a, a, a very positive trend. And again, that gets back to some of the a revival of home baking that you saw during the past year. Um, it says good things for butter, ice cream, uh, the whole suite of, of dairy products, including yogurt, fluid milk. It was positive news across the board. Um, and we think that we can build this as consumers turn to dairy in difficult times and rediscover it for, for the brighter times we all hope are ahead. So there could be some broader lessons learned from what dairy learned in 2020, you think? Absolutely. Uh, you see that consumers turn to this product. They appreciate this product. This is something that they can really you, you can really use this data and you really can use this information to build upon and, and make sure that your message is that much strong, stronger, that dairy is something you can turn to during challenging times and beyond. Certainly. That's Alan Birka with the National Milk Producers Federation. Appreciate your time and input today.